Hi guys, my name is Heather, also known as Shorty here on the internet. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna tell you the story of how hugging my best friend led to me smashing my toe. I have a lot of weird stories involving injuries. I'm just a really clumsy person who gets injured by the weirdest things like coffee cups and doors. This story happened fall of 2016. This college that is associated with my church used to hold these fall conferences every year. My family would usually volunteer and we'd be able to go. My best friend was volunteering at the booth for the college. My family signed up to volunteer to help with the takedown for the entire conference, which that will come into play later in the story, you'll see. All right, if you know anything about me, you know I love coffee. I always have coffee in the morning. Every single day, I have at least one cup of coffee. A lot of times it's two. Ever since I started drinking coffee, I've kind of almost preferred iced coffee. I drink hot coffee all the time now. I drink iced coffee all the time. Usually it, I end up with iced coffee because it takes me like six hours to drink a cup of coffee. No joke. I'm just forgetful and don't sit there and chug coffee most time. On this particular day, I had this cup. It actually had a purple lid on it, not the orange one, but I couldn't find the purple one. My older sister gave me this cup. Maybe it was my 17th birthday. It was probably when it was. And she got me just this plain one so I could draw on it, and I'd do that with Sharpies. So I had my coffee. It's like 9 in the morning. I'm not exactly awake. I'd basically gotten up, eaten something, thrown on some makeup, thrown on an outfit, got in the car, and went to church, and my brain was kind of, like, still waking up. So I walk into the, like, narthex foyer area of my church, and this is where they had, like, the booth set up. And this is Saturday. This is the last day of the conference. I walk in, and right across from me, I see my best friend at the booth. So I walk over there and I give her a big hug and as I'm hugging her, this cup slips out of my hand and this part of the lid fell and smashed my the big toe on my left foot. And I was just kind of like, ow! And didn't really think much of it, picked up my cup, maybe wiped up coffee that spilled out a little bit. And I had painted my toenails, so my toenails are white, so I couldn't see underneath my, I couldn't see under the toenail and see if it was bruised or anything, so I didn't know. But like the whole day my toe was like throbbing. It hurt. I was walking around fine, going to some of the lectures, hanging out with friends. And then the conference ends probably around 3 or 4 in the afternoon. And then we go into the fellowship hall at my church where they had this bookstore set up. And we were helping take down the bookstore. Helping fold tablecloths and stuff. And like the entire time I'm standing there and my toe is just throbbing. Like it hurts to stand. And like when I would sit down and then go to stand back up, like it hurt. But I was like, you know what, I'm just going to push through it. This pain isn't that bad. But if you also know something about me, I have not been diagnosed, but I struggle with a lot of anxiety. And sometimes if something just, if one thing goes wrong, it can just trigger like anxiety attack, sometimes full on panic attacks. And so this whole day I was off because I was out of the house. I don't think I have actual social anxiety, but... That's, the whole anxious thing is a whole other story that I'm not going to get into in this one. Maybe I'll get into it someday. I don't know. And so I was off already, and by probably, like, I think it was, like, 5-ish o'clock, the lady who was in charge of all of the volunteers and the takedown and stuff, she ordered pizza for all of the volunteers. So we're sitting in the hallway by, like, the Sunday school classrooms at our church, sitting there just eating pizza. My toe is throbbing. It's hurting so much that like it's making me nauseous and the nausea is like just triggering anxiety and I'm just like out of it. I got up early that morning. I had gotten some ice from the cooler and I was holding it on my toe because like it hurt so bad. And by when we fit when everyone finished eating, I just was like, I can't, I can't get up and walk around and help out anymore. And so I just ended up just like sitting there the whole time. And like I didn't eat any pizza because I was like the last thing I want is cheesy greasy pizza and my stomach is just like blech. My family finished helping, and then we get in the car, we drive home, I get home, and I take the nail polish off my big toe nail so I could see just, like, what it looked like, and it was, like, light blue. It was, it was blue and bruised. It was bad. 
literally for the next week I barely was walking on it like I don't think I actually broke it and like it's fine now it wasn't like that bad it was just bruised really bad the toenail ended up completely falling off and it got like dark blue kind of blackish and like I got almost like a blood blister at the base of my toenail which I had to keep popping so that it wouldn't like just keep growing for like a week I couldn't walk on my toe um, which really sucked because, um, my brother came in town, like, the next weekend, and I could still just, like, I could, like, barely walk on my foot. I remember, like, we were gonna go shopping, and I went to get in the car, and as I was climbing in, I hit my toe, and it started bleeding, and I was like, yeah, no, this isn't happening. So I stayed home and watched Clueless, which is a great movie if you haven't seen it. It's hilarious. Yeah, so for, like, two weeks, I just, like, couldn't really walk. It was fun! Also, I'm pretty sure that was the last time I painted my toenails. What? I'm the only person that stuff like this happens to. So what was last? What happened to you last time I painted your toenails? Oh, I hugged my best friend, dropped a coffee cup on my toe, and couldn't walk for two weeks. <laughs> like, <laughs> like these stories are so like random. Like the stuff that happens in them. I have probably more stories like this. The story when I broke my arm is kind of funny. I'll have to tell that one sometime. Comment below if you want me to tell the story of what happened when I broke my arm when I was like six. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and you can join our big emo family, which I'm not super emo, but like my name on Twitter is just like emo mom now, so come join my family and be my child. It's fun, I promise. Yeah, but if you're not following me on social media, you totally should. They're linked down below, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Yes. I turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. I'm trying to upload every Thursday. So come back next Thursday for another video about my crazy life, or me just making fun of myself, or me making food. You'll never know, because I never know what I'm going to upload. I'm crazy. Okay, thanks for putting up with me. I love you guys. Bye!